In the old days, the interest rate on government securities was set by administrative fiat by the government. These days, there is an auction mechanism that lets different entities bid for how much they are willing to pay to buy these securities. In fact, there are many auction mechanisms. If you look at the FAQ section of the Reserve Bank of India website, you will see complete details on the different types of auctions that the government and the RBI have tried to conduct. Figure 1 shows you the evolution of the 10-year GSEC bond yield. Yields and rates of returns are the same things we say yields in the bond context. But the 10-year bond is used as a benchmark against which other rates of return yields are often measured. As you can see from the figure, yields nominally have ranged from 5% all the way to 12% and these have varied in large part because of the financial crisis of 2008-2009. The auction market that we talked about for government securities is kind of like the primary market for these instruments. This is where the banks, the insurance companies and other entities come in to buy bonds directly from the government. About 45% of the G6 outstanding are owned by the commercial banks who are required to hold a certain proportion by law. Another 25% are owned by insurance companies. After all, the premium that you pay for insurance has to be invested in somewhere safe. Uh, the remaining portion of these government bonds are held by mutual funds, debt mutual funds and some private companies for the most part. India has not historically gone overseas to find buyers for its government debt. Uh, although there are periodic calls in the media that India should actually access this so-called sovereign debt market. Unlike the financial institutions and insurance companies that can buy directly from the government through the primary market, what if you as a retail investor want to buy these bonds directly? There are websites like Zerota that let you purchase GSEX for as small an amount as 10,000 rupees. But be careful though. What if you bought this bond and you locked in a high interest rate for a 20 year tenor time till the bond matures and suppose you want to take the money out earlier. Can you access the secondary market and sell this bond directly? Probably not. At least you should be able to go to a bank, lend this, give the bond to them and borrow against it. But we in India don't have that facility available. It makes no sense whatsoever. So I'm not sure you should be thinking about direct investment in the bond market by yourself as a retail investor. For the retail investor, the easiest way to participate in the government securities market or the GSEC market is through a debt mutual fund. What is a debt mutual fund? We will address these in a later topic. But just for now, think of it as nothing more than a portfolio of bonds that are of different tenors, different maturities, even carrying different coupon rates. The advantage for you as a retail investor going through the debt mutual fund route is that because they are a big entity, they can access the secondary market when you cannot and be able to liquidate those bonds early when you couldn't because they have size working for them. Table 2 gives you a snapshot of how many G6 trade on a given day some random day. Uh, the descriptor column in that table shows you that there are some bonds of long maturities, some treasury bills are trading, there are even a few state development loans that have traded. But collectively, look at how few trades there are. And the total number and size of these trades is only about 
1 lakh crore. Compare that with the 58 lakh crore that are kind of outstanding at the moment I record this video. The reason why I bring this up is to also get you to recognize the notion of liquidity. Most of these bonds are bought and held to maturity. Very little liquidity exists in the sense that since people are holding them, very little, not much trading takes place. And this is an issue that is going to plague you if you try to directly invest in the GSEC market or any corporate bond market yourself.